I'm going to build a table dependent calculation to build a nice dashboard element. Let's get started. Okay, I brought you today a sales data on two different sheets. The first sheet is storing a table with the 2013 sales data. It includes a few columns related to my sales, but of course, this is just a sample data. The second sheet is storing the 2014 data and having the exactly same structure like the previous one. And I am going to build a dashboard element using table dependent calculations on this sheet. The first thing I need to do is to organize my table names a bit because if I select the table itself, I go to the table design tab and you look at the table name, it's called table 3. It's not that obvious. But instead of changing here, I just go back to the main sheet I want to create my dependent calculation, then I go to the formulas tab and I hit name manager. Then I just simply select the table and based on the sheet name I am going to know what I need to set as a name. And this is going to be my 2013 name. I have to use an underscore before my name. Then hit OK. Then I select the next one, hit edit, underscore 2014. Hit OK. Then I can close the name manager window. And what I want to do today is to create a dependent calculation based on the table name. And I'm going to summarize the different fields with a data validation list. Let's head back to the main sheet and name this cell as year. Then I'm going to select the next cell and let's format a little bit. Then I go to the data tab. I hit data validation, choose list. And the source is going to be typed manually this time since I got only two values. I enter underscore 20 2013 comma underscore 2014. I hit OK. And here we go. I got my table names in a drop down. Then I choose another cell, which is going to be my country column for my dashboard element. I hit enter and I'm going to use a dynamic array to get all the countries. And it will look like this. We stack, which is a dynamic array formula to stack over data from any range or table vertically. And instead of selecting manually the tables, I just start typing the table names. So underscore 2013 open angle brackets and it will open up the list of the fields included in that table. I'm going to select the country field, close angle brackets, comma, and I do the same for the 2014 table. Angle brackets, country, close the field, close the formula, hit enter. We got the list of the countries combined together in a range, but since it includes duplicates, I'm going to add one more formula before the V stack, and it's going to be called unique. I double click on the formula, and my array is going to be the entire V stack formula I have created. After that, I just simply close the formula and hit enter. I got a dynamic array that pulls the country fields from the table. So once I change something on the table, this is gonna be updated automatically in my range as well. The next thing I want to do is to select the next column header, then I go back to the data tab, hit data validation, and I'm going to use another drop down to make my calculation more dependent. I select the source, I go to 2013 table, and I select the headers I want to summarize with my calculations. I simply hit OK, done. I got the different header names in a data validation list. Let's choose one just to have a header, line this a little bit, and let's start building the dependent formula. I'm going to use the sum if s to summarize the different values from the tables. So the sum range is going to be the actual field I want to summarize, right? And the dependent formula will look like this. I will need to add the indirect function, which can convert text to a reference. First, I need the table name, which comes from the data validation list, then ampersand, double quotes, I add the angle brackets, ampersand again, and the field as a variable will come from the other dropdown. Then I add the ampersand again, just to make sure that our formula is proper, so I need to close it with the angle brackets, and I close the indirect function. Some range is done. Then I need to set the criteria range again, comma, indirect, open brackets, year data validation, because that's my table name, ampersand, double quotes, angle brackets, and I'm going to enter the country name field because that's going to be a fixed column, right? I close the angle brackets, double quotes, and I can close my indirect formula. Criteria range is done. 
comma, then I select the first item from my dynamic range, which is going to be the criteria, then I use the F4 to use the absolute value, close the entire formula, and hit enter. And here we go, we are done. One more thing is missing, I need to fix the F4 cell as well for the data validation, because if I copy it down the value, the reference is not going to be pointing to the original cell. So what I do, I go back, I select the F4, and I hit F4 until I can fix the entire cell. Then I'm going to fix the second validation list as well, and the F4 one more time. Hit Enter, then I copy down the formula, and it's working. Then I select the next column, I go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert some spark lines. Choose column, data range is going to be my calculation. I hit OK, let's align a little bit, I copy down the spark lines and we are done. If I change the table name, then this is going to pull the values from the 2014 table. But if I want to get a different value, like the gross sales, I can change that too and this is 100% dependent on the table and dynamic. And this is going to be a very good element for any dashboard you want to build in Excel. Let me know in the comment if it was useful for you.